So this is uh, this is our, our first video in what? How long? I don't know. When was what was the last video we did? Probably a year ago. I guess the I guess power when we plant. were yeah that's right when we were in the power plant. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, so this is our first official video on our new website, which we have not launched yet. So none of you website. guys have actually seen it yet. <laughs> <laughs> but. I'm I'm Andrew Atomic Land Tesla Mad and this is JB, aka Hi. Kappa Monkey Boy. Yep. That's and me. Uh, we figured we would start out our first video, showcasing the new nuke plant that we uh, that we worked on. So it's pretty cool. It's uh, it's very modular, and that I think that was the whole goal of building this. You know, we wanted to build a very small pretty design that uh, was was very simple but uh, efficient and uh, completely safe too and it, it runs uh, I guess at the the maximum possible in, in this game so so we've got our pretty control panel uh, we've got our cooling block which is this guy right here and then we've got of course the actual reactor which is on these support structures just to make it look nice but our nice uh, big sphere and of course everything is you know made to look nice and pretty so uh, cool it in and power out and that's basically it it's uh, it's pretty basic but I guess we'll let uh, JB talk about how everything works you want to show them um, in, in general Keep in mind that some of the mods that are required for this uh, setup that we have now are EE3, EE2, sorry, EE2. Um, so before you get into it, you kind of sort of have to have a equivalent exchange too. And red power. And uh, I, I know that in recent months that's been a little bit of a problem. However, this is a sustainable setup that, you know, does work. Uh, we, we've taken pneumatic tubes and a couple other basic concepts uh, where we use EE2 to create ice, very similar to a, a lot of well-known mods for uh, nuclear power cooling and run them using pneumatic redstone pipes, which are a nice addition into a nuclear reactor. You know, I guess it should also be noted that the, we're still running the old Tekkit, uh, Tekkit Classic, which is running on Minecraft 1.2.5. So I think a lot of the mods were that we're using here were removed in some of the later uh, developments, Tekkit Lite, and the, I guess the new uh, Galactic, uh, Galacticraft, is that how it's pronounced? Yeah, uh, well, there's Galacticraft and there's a couple others, Big Dig, so on and yeah. so forth. So we, we still like Ticket Classic for for this main server that's being highlighted on uh, on the the website in these videos. But hopefully hopefully we'll be migrating to something else if uh, if they ever decide to change how the mods are are added in. But anyways, let's get back to the uh, nuke plan. Take it away. Yeah, and and keep in mind that we would love to have Alorum come back and and enjoy Ticket again but we can't necessarily force that. So what we have here, and Andrew can come in here and zoom in, is a, a basic input of the, the nuclear reactor itself. Make it daytime. Uh, okay. Let's get a little dark. I can do that. There we go. Much better. Um, our input is nuclear cells, um, standard uranium cells and plenty of ice to cool down the system. Uh, in normal operation, we have a nuclear reactor and then the nuclear uh, components around it. And in order to turn the system on and off, we ran red uh, pneumatic pipes, uh, redstone pneumatic pipes into the actual reactor. So we had a, a control to turn the whole system off. Uh, the output is a, M, a uh, high voltage transformer, which we then directly run down to whatever our load is, in this case a mass fabricator. 
Now, one thing to, to keep in mind here, this is obviously just a cross-section of, of the actual working reactor. So I know some of you might have been questioning, you know, why do you have all this ice in here and only one uranium cell? Normally, it's the complete opposite. Uh, we just didn't want to, uh, you know, load this thing up fully when, when all the shielding is, is taken away. So this is just for demonstration purposes. But uh, this one is running, though. In fact, uh, JB, if you'll go hit the switch, let's let's actually go down here to the power panel and take a look. So there we go. So the reactor is on and running, and you'll notice that it's actually not doing anything right now. But you'll notice that the uh, that the pipe is no longer lit up, and as a result, that uh, you know kills the enable signal that goes to the reactor and causes it to run. Now let, let's just pretend that some of the ice gets depleted then the system automatically adds new ice to the system and fills it back up. And uh, so, I mean, this is, you know, it's a really redundant system that, I mean, it, it basically cannot fail, even running at, you know, absolute maximum power. Now, the one thing, I guess, to mention is, so so there's, there's two parts to the cooling block here. There's the ice creation uh, part that you see here with the... Uh, with the filters, uh, but there's also a, uh, a loss of coolant system, which is the low voltage solar panel on top of this guy, the remote thermal monitor. Now we used a low voltage solar panel here uh, instead of using external power because you know it just fits nicely into the block. It just makes this a nice, uh, really clean setup. But it should be noted that, and JBF fuel hit the lights. If it goes to nighttime you'll notice that it obviously loses power and the system itself will shut down once it drains all of its energy out. So that means that your loss of coolant system uh, technically completely goes away. That doesn't mean that the reactor will not run and that does not mean that it's not going to get ice still and that it is uh, that it could melt down. Uh, but what it does mean is if for some reason if your coolant system completely failed there's no longer a failsafe to uh, uh, to completely shut it down, so so you just got to be careful about that. If you're if you're worried about it, uh, be sure you supply that with power uh, externally. So, which I ironically can actually come from the total system output. True, very uh, true. As long as there's no issues with your output. So I'm sure some of you may be wondering about these kind of plugs. You know, one of the important things about the a lot of the things that we build and design here is is they should be functional, but they should also uh, look nice aesthetically. So, uh, one of the things that that I tried to include here is a way to uh, plug up the holes for the power conduit and for the uh, for the cooling system. Uh, so that's what these blocks here are. And, and normally, this would be filled all the way to the top. This is uh, construction foam that then hardens and uh, but I wanted to kind of leave this out so that you guys could actually see the uh, the wire coming down. But so functional, but beautiful at the same time. And also, you know, uh, many people have kind of sort of questioned why didn't you use extreme cabling? Mm. Well, that is extreme a cabling has the problem of having a loss per tick which is much higher than necessary. So why not skip that step and go straight to an HV transformer that will then allow you to use glass fiber cabling? Very true. Which has a much lower loss per tick, meaning you don't lose any losses between your source or very little losses between your source and your output. Once you get to fiber cabling, you have effectively the maximum power transfer and the lowest losses in terms of energy. So, hey, how about we uh, how about we go turn on the full reactor and uh, let's take a look and see what this one runs at. Um, Andrew, yes. what about the reasoning for the reinforced structure around the reactor? Ah, yes. So, Initially, I don't know how many we, we did several tests. Um, you, you know, the the whole goal 
of building this reactor initially was we wanted people within the server, uh, within their own territories, to be able to uh, build a reactor, but uh, for it to be safe as well. There, you know, uh, we have several rules that we put in place on the server just to make sure that everyone is uh, safe and is not going to destroy the landscape and. Um, you know, it's really important to us in here. So we did some testing initially to figure out what is going to be the safest um, way to uh, to create containment for these. And uh, I think after probably, what, four or five tests, we, we finally figured out uh, what would be the best, uh, plus uh, some factor of safety. I don't know exactly what we, uh, what we built in, but uh, basically you can let this thing, you can completely shut off all the cooling, and just let it go up in smoke, and uh, uh, you won't even notice anything. So it's completely self-contained uh, if it does go critical for some reason. So, uh, oh, and here's another interesting thing. Now that we've got this running, and it's uh, completely up to speed. Now, keep in mind, again, this is the reactor running uh, with all the material in it. You'll notice that, that the temperature never gets up really to, I don't think I've ever seen it hit 300. Normally it spikes around 290, 270 uh, is kind of the max I've ever seen it go up to. Um, and the ice is always constantly feeding in. And right now, oh, see, our output is 30,464 EU per tick. And so, so this, the thermal monitor, you could actually technically set down to 300 and it would be fine. Uh, we just keep it at 500 because it's just the default setting when you first open it up. But um, did you did you open up the the core? Hey, I all did. All right. So let's Check take it a look. Out. So so here's all of the uh, uranium cells in, and you can see even running at full power, uh, the system is always replenishing the ice. So you never have to worry about the system going critical. And, ag and again, even if the cooling does fail, you have the emergency shutoff. And even if the emergency shutoff fails, you have all of the, uh, you've got all the reinforced uh, concrete around. Or is it reinforced concrete or cement? I, I always forget. I, I think that's reinforced block, technically. Uh, so uh, I think that's uh, pretty much it. Did you have anything else you wanted to add? Just in general, the idea behind this total system is that this is a modular energy source using the nuclear mod pack for TechIt at this point. So you don't have to rely on solar panels and storage batteries. There is other options, especially if your server administrator has restricted those options. Um, in it it is safe, it is doable, and there are ways to make it high quality. Yeah. And, you know, going back to the to the modular thing, what I, what I really love about this design is, you, know, you see so many designs on YouTube for how to build a nuke plant, and, and some of them are so stupidly complex, and, you know, they have all this additional crap that you don't need. And, uh, I, you know, I think that's what really drove us to design just this little itty bitty uh, cooling block and you know this tiny control panel that you know it's 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 all you need and you can move it anywhere it's completely wireless uh, you can place it anywhere within uh, I forget how far the range extenders go but as long as it gets signal you can uh, basically place it anywhere and it's it's clean and you just don't have to worry about it so and beyond that the actual controls are not required to be wireless. So technically one could build this whole thing underground without a lot of work beyond True. the uh, structure and hook up some redstone circuits to it and you're done. Very true. Now let's go over here and take a look at the uh, mass fab. Very nice. That's all I've got. What about you? I'm good. Excellent. Well, uh, as soon as uh, as soon as we publish this video, I guess we'll we'll upload it to our channel, and uh, it'll be live on the new site as soon as the new site is uh, released. So check back again. Um, subscribe to us and 
check back on our website for, for updates. We're going to hopefully be posting uh, a lot more of these videos. This is, you know, this is like a fraction of a fraction of a percent of everything we have in this new server. And so, you know, if you really like these, if you really think this is cool, uh, we've got some other really neat stuff to show you and talk about. So uh, check back and we'll chat with you guys again later.